In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the Scratch programming environment to simulate rolling two dice and adding them together, and then counting how many times they add up to eight. To start off with, open up Scratch and click Create. Then Scratch will create a new project. There is a tutorial here, but at this stage it's probably easiest to just close that. The idea behind Scratch is that there are these blocks off to the side here, and you can drag them into the main area in the middle, and then get the cat off to the right to do things. So to start off with, we're going to drag the when green flag is clicked block, because that is how you start any program. Then we're going to get the scratch cat to say hello. Finally, we click the flag and watch as the cat says hello. We can also make the cat go into full screen and see again, it says hello. Let's get back out of full screen so we can edit our program. Obviously we can change the text to anything else, so this is fun, we can get the cat to say that, and maybe one last message, just to set up our video, let's add some dice. And sure enough, that's what the cat says. To get rid of a block, we can just drag it off to the left there, and it's gone. So, for our program we want to create two variables corresponding to the two dice. So we'll call the first one die1, and then we'll make another variable called die2. We want to set the die1 to be a random number from 1 to 6. So we drag the pick random block, by default that will give you a random number from 1 to 10. So we need to change that 10 to a 6, and then again we're going to set die2 to be that. So we just click on the menu to change that to die2, and again we drag out of the operators menu, pick random, make it 1 to 6. Now let's get the cat to say what die1 plus die2 equals. So we drag the say block from the operators menu, that's where we can add two numbers together, and we're going to put die1 in the first position and die2 in the second position. So we run that and see we get 8 when we add these two dice together. And we can click the green flag to do it again, this time we get 5, then we get 5 again, then 3, and we can keep on clicking that green flag as many times as we like to get the cat to add the two dice together. Now, it could be a bit annoying to have to keep on clicking the flag every single time. So let's now make a loop so that the cat can keep on adding those dice together and we don't have to keep clicking that flag. So out of the control menu, we're going to drag a repeat block. And I'm just going to drag it into this empty space down here. Now I'm going to drag the existing code into that block. And then I'm going to drag those blocks up to when the green flag is clicked, otherwise they'll never run. And finally, I'm going to change that 10 to 100 to make it repeat 100 times. Then we can click the green flag and see, and the cat is 100 times rolling two dice and then adding up the values. But unless you're very quick at counting, you're probably not going to be able to count how many times the number 8 occurred. So what we can do is we can actually get the cat to count for us. We need to make a new variable called counter. And to start off with, before the loop even starts, we're going to set that counter to zero, because at the start we've had no eighths. Next what we want to do is we want to see if die1 plus die2 equals eight. So let's drag an if then block out of the control menu. Again, I'm just going to put that into the white space down here. And from the operators menu, I'm going to find an equal condition. Notice how the gap in the if then statement is a hexagon. So we need to put a hexagon shaped object into there. In this case, it defaults to saying something equals 50. We don't really want it to equal 50, we want to see if die1 plus die2 equals 8. So we change the 50 to an 8, and we drag the die1 plus die2 into the left hand side there. Finally, let's get that say hello block out of there, not really doing much, and drag the if then block in. Now, if die1 plus die2 equals 8, what we want to do is we want to add one to counter. So back in the variables menu, you can see there's an option to change a variable by one. And by default, it's saying change counter by one because counter was the last variable we created. Now at the end, what we want to do is we actually want to get the cat to say the value of counter. So when we run this, we see 14 is the value of counter, which means of the 100 trials, 14 of them, the dice added to eight. We can run it again, and we see 15 this time. We run it again, and 9 is the number of 8s this time. 
again we get 9, and then 18. Because it's using random numbers, you could get different results each time you run this program. So we've written a program that simulates rolling two dice, adding them up, and counting how many times the result equals 8. And it repeats that 100 times and says the result. I hope you found this useful as you begin to use the Scratch programming environment to write your simulations.